This is Marcus Corbin. and we're here at the Citizen Bank Arena in Ontario with a fight fan, Ken Flo, <laughs> back in shape. How you feeling? Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> Rounds of shape, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you know, um, just enjoying the fights, man. It was, it was such a great event, and uh, I've always been a big fight fan, so, you know, to see high-level kickboxers here in L.A., I, I, how could I not watch, you know? And living in Los Angeles now, correct? Living in Los Angeles now, yeah. It's going to be two years in December. Crazy to think. But. Well, I have to say, coming... Watching the UFC and mixed martial arts, you're one of the first ones to really bring in like real Muay Thai. There were some Muay Thai fighters who went into mixed martial arts, but as a, as a grappler starting to train Muay Thai, are you surprised to see how far American kickboxing have come? Yeah, man. You know, that we always had the talented guys. I think it was the similar thing to what I was experiencing when I was coming up in jiu-jitsu, whereas a lot of talented guys, guys with unbelievable technique, high-level guys, but you didn't have the experience. And I think that's kind of the same thing. Like, in Brazil, they have jiu-jitsu tournaments every weekend, you know, and in L.A. Uh, at one point, they were having a lot of jiu-jitsu tournaments. When I was in Massachusetts, we didn't have as many, so we didn't have that experience. And it's the same thing with high-level kickboxing here in the United States. We don't have the amount of high-level kickboxers like you have in Europe and, and, of course, in Thailand. And so, but we're getting there, though. You know, we, we have the talented guys. It's just now we just need the events, and here we have glory. So, Do you think mixed martial arts is helping put in kickboxing, Muay Thai, and even boxing back on the, on, on the radar again? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. You know, it, it is a huge element, a huge part of mixed martial arts, uh, one that should be respected and, and one that is winning a lot of fights. And, and uh, we have a lot of guys that are kind of back and forth. The guys who used to kickbox now going full-time MMA and now having these kind of events, now, I love it because as, as a martial artist, not everybody can do mixed martial arts or, or wants to do mixed martial arts. And not everybody can fight in, in all these different events. But the more events you have, the more ability we have for uh, American fighters and others to, to go and participate at a high level. Who, who or what fight was your favorite fight tonight? Man, it had to be the, the, the final. Uh, Artem uh, Levine against Joe Schilling was uh, a fantastic fight. Uh, Schilling came in and, and, you know, we were just talking about earlier. It's a, it you said a rocky story. It really was, you know. Uh, Schilling, who came, in, uh, who came in out of nowhere, he got into the tournament in kind of the pre-tournament and then came out of nowhere and just, he showed athletically he was better than Levine. And, and you could see that Levine was just at a different level, just always out of range, his feints and kind of just in and out but it was just one shot. And when you have that kind of speed and knockout power, you can turn the tables like that, and that's what Schilling did. Yeah, we were talking about it. I didn't give Joe a big chance against someone like Arthur Levine, who's so yeah. experienced, yeah. been on the big scene for a long time. And Joe said it before, he's like, I'm here to show that American kickboxing belongs on the big scene, and he's, yeah. he definitely did. Absolutely, and, and I tell you, he was always right there, and I think that experience and this kind of win is gonna do amazing things for his confidence, for his technique. It's going to take him to the next level, and it's going to give him that push to say, you know what, I can't compete with the best in the world. So, uh, very happy for the kid, you know. How much does Kenny Florian get to train these days? Man, you know, I was just telling these guys, I, I went from training six days a week, three times a day, to three times a week if I'm lucky so and it's just physically my body hasn't allowed me to to really push the pace you know anytime I start training more and more and I feel good my back craps out on me so I, I have to really be on top of it make sure that everything's in order I'm taking care of myself you know physically doing my rehab and you know maybe maybe throwing some Pilates or yoga or something to keep me flexible because you know I'm getting older and my body isn't what it used to be, and, and uh, my back hasn't allowed me to train like it used to. That's why I retired, but hopefully um, I, I miss training, man. I, I want to go back hopefully one day where I can just train every day. If I can do that, I'll be a happy man. Well, it's uh, always a pleasure to, to watch you on the UFC analysis. Um, I definitely prefer watching you than uh, that. What's the guy, the, the, the fat guy that you sit there with? Um, <laughs> what, what's his name? Um, um, I can't think of his name now, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fat guy, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> no, you're internal joke, but no, I have to say, your commentating is great. Do, do you do you do you enjoy it as much as? I do. Man. Is that your favorite, the best job that you could have landed after fighting? Oh, are you kidding me? It is absolutely, man. I I'm a fight nerd. I, I love it. I love watching it. I love talking about it. For me, to be able to do that and get paid, man. I, I, I'm very, very lucky. So uh, it's fun, man. I, I get to watch the best fighters in the world go at it and talk about it. It's amazing. Is there anything else you would like to do that you're not doing currently? Oh, man. Besides uh, run the central bank here in the United States? Uh, I don't know, man. No, I, I'm really, I'm doing it all, man. I, 
I, I remember before I even became a fighter, before I even knew I wanted to be a fighter, I said, if I'm able to wake up every day, and this is what I thought at the time, and put on a gi every day, that's what I thought, I'll be a lucky man. And I get to every single day study martial arts and get paid to do it, man, and learning every single day, coming to events like this, watching high-level UFC fights and training with you, training with everybody, man. I learned so much, and, and that's what I've always wanted to do, man. So I'm, I'm lucky. To, and by the way, Jay Glazer, I love you. I swear to God, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, um, man, Mr. Clean. Yeah, and and if you know to see Kenny's analysis of the UFC and his commentating, tune in to. I don't even know where you guys are on it. Is Fox it Fox Sports, One? Fox Sports One, uh, UFC tonight every Wednesday night, 4 p.m. Uh, uh, West Coast, 7 p.m. Uh, East Coast, and uh, you know all the all the fights. Check out all the UFC fights. I'll, I'll do one of them. So yeah, thank you, Ken. Always all a right. pleasure. Thank you, my man. All right. <laughs>